is up, Soul Fam? This is Chris with Soldier of Life, and I want to welcome you back to another video. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to shout out all of the American German YouTubers out there. And if you currently are following one or watch one, if you have a favorite one, make sure to put their name down in the comments section below so I can find out where they live and run them over on my car and take out the competition. Anyway, we're gonna be talking about the three American culture differences that many Germans do not understand. Now, when I say this, I'm not saying that you can't, uh, I had a lisp when I was a kid. Don't get mad at me if I do the thing with my ass tonight. But when I say that Germans do not understand, I don't mean in totality. Of course, you can understand the situation. Of course, looking from the outside in, I can say that I understand a lot of different things. But unless you are there, in my personal opinion, you can't really totally, fully understand the concept or understand the mindset behind it. So the three things I will be talking about are, yeah, they're the big three. I'm gonna just pop right into them now because I, if I, I'd give it away if I just said it right now. So the number one thing is racism. Good old race, good old colors, good old white, black, brown, purple, yellow, all that other good stuff. A lot of Germans don't understand how America can still be so racist, how we're still talking about race in 2018. We think that people reached a higher level of intellect. They totally have not. They probably never will. Now in America, Race is a big thing because it's still a big thing. You know, when you see videos online, especially nowadays, since they're so accessible, um, when you see things online happening to a person that looks like you, happening to people that seems like they are being targeted for what they look like, it starts to resonate with you a little bit. And I'm only speaking this as being a beautiful white man that I am. When you have certain situations in your life, they start to form you more than you know. I know there's been plenty of times where I've gone through racist situations. Now, I don't allow that to stop me from doing the things that I wanna do in my life, but because I've had these experiences, I know a lot of people that look like me have had these experiences too. And it's difficult. I remember when I was a kid and I told this girl that I liked her. You know how like back in the day, be like, oh, I, th oh, I think you're cute and I like you. Will you, oh, you like me too? I sent this girl a note, right? Fucking chicken note. I remember her name, I'll never forget. Fifth grade, Christina. And I sent her a note, you know how you do it, man, back in the day, when you you know, hey girl, I think you cute, you like me or not, nah. last day of school, you gotta hit on the last day of school, so then if you get blown out, you know, it wasn't a big deal in the way, but if she says yes, then at least you can get the information before the summer break and you know, like, try to do your thing in the summer break, try to do your thing in the summer break. No, this chick put on my note, no, and under it, she put, you are too black. Damn! Like, that is not even racism, but god damn, like, what are you, fuck, man, like, who talks like that? <laughs> Shiver, <laughs> bitch. And there's plenty of other situations that I had. I mean, obviously, that's a funny one. It's not meant to be serious. I don't care. Now, Christina, you can fucking kiss my ass. But when people are depicted by their race, you know, to show how they are different from others, to show why they're not equal then, it becomes a thing, and in America, like, it is huge. I think a lot of people tend to generalize a lot of things when you see people that look a certain way. Um, it's just human nature, man. If I seen a group of white dudes over here in the corner, I'm like, oh my God, oh, look at them. I bet they're gonna go study on Sunday afternoon. But if I was in Florida and I seen a group of black dudes over there, I'd be like, them boys, pro they probably, them niggas probably selling dope. But that's just human nature to form general opinions. That's why I make sure when I talk to people, I make sure I talk very polite and I talk with mannerisms. I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea about me, but I'm still hood and gutter and shit like that. But it's difficult when you see people that are judging you off the basis of your skin color, and then you have other people that talk bad about your situation and they have no idea. I mean, that's my, that's my form of gripe. I hate when people act like whatever situation you're going through is nothing. You know, especially with the stuff going on now, like I know about the, the Me Too movement, there's a lot of female stuff that I personally can't put in on because I've never been a female in my life. I think a lot of people wanna give in their two cents and that's the issue, you know, when we see these things going, you know, off online, 
people having reactions to it and usually they're negative and they trickle down in America and it's classified as racism. I just think the majority of the people in the world are not racist. You know, I just think that when people are frustrated or they have something to say or the world's not going the way they want, they just say things to get a rise out of you, to feel, you can probably, probably in this video, sooner or later, in a couple of, you look down in the comments and see the stuff that people say to me on a daily, like, they don't know me, they're just saying stuff because they're mad and their moms didn't hold them enough when they were a baby and they didn't get their milk and then they didn't get swaddled and then their dad didn't take them to football games or nobody told them I love them 1700 times a day. It's just people that are just saying stuff and it's really hard to decipher between the two sometimes but a lot of people aren't racist but in America, which jumps me into the next point, number two, how the country is divided. Now if you look at my president, this guy, after Donald Trump winning, a lot of Germans didn't understand, like, how could America let this guy be in office? How could their country allow him to be president? We already have the racism that divides us. We also have the political differences that divide us. And not only that, now we have this face that spreads all types of stuff and hate throughout the world and confusion and disgrace and he divides us. Now imagine if I was talking to a Trump supporter and I really wasn't using my malevolent, that is a good word but I don't know what that means. Um, if I wasn't using, if I wasn't using my full range of intelligence, let's just put it that way. And I was just spouting things off at the mouth. If you know, if somebody was a Trump supporter and I said, you know, how could you vote for Trump? He's stupid, he's a racist, he's a bigot, he's feminist. The only thing that the Trump supporter is gonna do is spit a bunch of stuff back out at me. And we're just gonna be like this, like two Muppets going back and forth, you know? And a lot of times when people are having these conversations, they don't use their full ring of intellect, they use their emotions. So we argue and we bicker and we fight. And the thing about it is America, we are headstrong. So we tend to clash more often than not. If you are a Republican and I'm a Democrat, we cannot be friends. I don't want your daughter seeing my daughter at school. I don't wanna see you passing on the highway. If I do, I'm gonna flip you the middle finger and go tell you to fuck yourself. That is how the country is divided in America. And I understand a lot of Germans are also, I feel that, you know, with the uprising of immigration in Germany, a lot of Germans are starting to do a little bit of the such, but for the most part, um, a lot of Germans that I talk to really can't understand how our country is so divided. This is because, you know, you just have people that are constantly bickering back and forth. You know, I see a lot of my friends, they'll post something online and sometimes it starts to get to me a little bit, but then I don't judge them off of their political views. One of the benefits that I have is most of the people that I know on my immediate social media are from the military. You know, so we've served together, we've worked together, and of course our political views are gonna be different. None other than less, I know they're not racist. I know they're not bad people. I know they don't have ill intentions unless they got out and now they have shit for brains. But I know that, you know, they're not saying anything derogatory towards me or the things that I stand for. They're just trying to prove a point or say a point or whatever the case may be. Most of them. Some of them are just assholes. And number three, the big thing that Germans do not understand, I don't care who you are as a German, I'm talking to you. They don't understand the gun laws, having guns, gun any and everything, gun, guns, guns, pop, 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 about to say gang shit. They don't understand our gun policies and gun laws. They don't understand why guns are in America. They don't understand why so many people can have so many guns. They don't understand how we can have automatic weapons and rifles. They don't understand why. And let me tell you something, I don't understand that shit either. But you have to understand in the big picture, man, I need a motorized scooter. Well, no, I need a skateboard. But you have to understand in the big picture our gun laws in america were only established because of our independence back in 1776 back in the day they had pop guns they had whack ass well they weren't whack back in the day but basically they had the big boy cannon type joints and they were 
pulling, busting, and then 20 minutes it would take them to reload. Now we have a handgun that's semi-automatic with an 180 round banana clip that can wrap around your shoulder and comes in pink for your designing pleasure. Guns in America is a business. It is a huge business. It is a big ass business, billion dollar business. Now, if you take the gun reform away and you take guns away from people, if you stop the manufacturing of guns, you will have a lot of people out of work. You will have a lot of people out of a job. You will have a lot of companies going under. You will have a lot of rich people being just a little bit less rich. And we can't have that, can we? This is why there are guns in America. I'll tell you right now, I don't care what nobody tell you. I don't care if some American gives you some long, exaggerated, explanation telling you some make-believe stuff this is the one and only reason there are guns in america because of that their statements are being made in order to reinforce that policy when people say i need a gun to protect myself people need guns to protect themselves from other people that have guns so now we just got to make a whole bunch more guns i find that the culture that they have you know and i want to say not in all parts of the world but most parts of the world where they don't have guns but it's because of the culture it's because of our way of thinking in the society in america why we kind of need guns i mean shit man i don't want to go somewhere and imagine somebody's up in my face and he got a gun and he's pointing and pushing me in front of my family or he's threatening my family and he's waving the gun around and pressing it to their temples or something i'm gonna bust back i'm gonna fire y'all i'm gonna light your ass up because you should have thought of that before you start waving around some BS like everybody ain't got one. But that's just it, you know, um, the gun thing, it's business and business is good, always. And with that note, I'm gonna end the video here. I definitely appreciate you guys watching this video today. I hope you got something out of it. And don't forget, if you like the video, smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and give it a share if you got somebody who's thinking that people in America have guns for any other reasons. And let me know, have I forgotten anything that Germans do not understand about Americans? Put it in the comment section below. This is Chris with Soldier of Life, and I'll see you in the next video.